In your opinion, does Haney beat Lomachenko? Did they hear? Did they hear? Did they hear Lomachenko? Yes. Did they hear Lomachenko? Ask them Haney versus Lomachenko. What happens? Uh, what happens? Yes. What happens in that fight? You know better what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Break it down, Roy. Think, what can, what, think, what can think, happen in that fight? The thing about that fight is, you gotta realize, people, yeah. are, people always don't want to give Haney a chance. Mm -hmm. But you gotta remember now, let's take it back. Lopez beat Loma. Yep. The other guy. Cambosis uh, beat Lopez. Beat Lopez. Yeah. Haney whooped Lopez worse than Lopez whooped Loma or worse than Cambosis whooped Lopez. Yeah. He beat Cambosis worse than all of them. Mm -hmm. So, so far, if you look at it, he's leading Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. yes, Loma's a technical fighter, and he's one of my favorites, going always one of my favorites. So is Hayden. But what I do like about the fight for Hayden is that it's going to be size versus experience. Because Hayden is going to be the bigger fighter. And Lopez showed that the bigger fighter is going to give Loma a problem. That's yeah. how Loma got it first. Loma was the bigger fighter. The guy didn't make weight, and he got any beat. Him. So we know that Loma's blueprint has been the bigger guy. Hayne is definitely a bigger guy who also can box. Can Loma go out and take all his boxing skills away from him? We don't know. But for them to say, oh, he don't have a chance, bull crap. That's a 50-50 fight. 50-50 fight. That's a size yeah. and boxing ability versus uh, age and boxing ability. Mm -hmm. So that's a evil fight to me. Y'all think it's a new pick? Mm -hmm. This, uh, this will be my last one. Shakur, do you think he's the guy that can beat all of them? I don't know if there's one guy right now that can beat any, anybody in that division that can beat all of them, and I'm gonna tell you why. This division is like old school boxing, you know what I mean? Tommy gave Sugar all he wanted, but Sugar always could seem to beat Tommy, right? Tommy couldn't beat Duran. I mean, could beat Hagler. Hagler struggled with Duran. Tommy knocked Duran out cold. Tommy couldn't get a decision over Sugar. You know what I'm saying? It's styles make like, fights. Like Tommy and uh, Barkley and then same thing. goes yeah. and destroys yeah. Barkley. Yeah. So this is the same thing we got in this division now. Mm -hmm. This is why you want a division like this. Styles make fights. Ain't no clear cut winner in the division. Mm -hmm. You understand yeah. me? But we're gonna see what happens. There's a lot of us, there's a lot for us to figure out. When you got the best and the best and you don't know who's the best, mm -hmm. come on bro, you owe it to the public and bikes. Um, Ryan versus Tank, man. That's a good fight too. Man. Hopefully, we're, they're saying that they're close, but I don't know what the networks. But let me just tell you like yeah. this. Let me tell you like this. The good thing about the lightweight division, or the, I'm gonna put it like this. Yeah. The good thing between the light and light welterweight division is that most of those guys can move up and down. Most of the major guys are already 147 pounds, but they fight at 135 or 140. But they're already 47 pounds. You understand me? Shakur Stevens can make 40. Uh, 47, I think. Uh, I believe. I believe uh, Devin can make 40, 47. I believe. I know Tank can make 40, 47. I think Till uh, can make 40. All those guys. All those guys, all those guys, all those guys can make 40. Anywhere from 35 to 47. So it's just a matter of time how they meet and who. But somebody at some point will have to become the cream of the crop. So they're in a position right now where they're gonna be forced to fight each other. The problem with Spencer Crawford is that they already both risk rose to the top of the division and. Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard set that precedent for them. When they rose to the top of the division, they had a clash. Yeah. So in boxing, we're used to seeing two people rise to the top and clash. It's not like basketball season, football season, where they mandate the best have to play the best. Yeah. In boxing, it becomes a choice. But to give the fans what they want, we got to give them that. We can't not give them what they want and it, at all costs. And, uh, so for me, it's a crazy thing because, and I'm almost sure, like I said, I knew Bud for a long time, been wanting to fight. Bud called me for advising. I know Bud is all in. The other side is not just the fighter, it's the fighter and the people around him. So it's like, it makes it very different. Because you can't tell them, oh, go, go against your people. You can't tell them that. But at the same time, the fans want to answer, want to answer the question, why the question hot? You understand me? Yeah. We got denied the opportunity several times already. You understand me? Why not make it happen for them? Because, yeah, we do box, but we do old old boxing, our loyalty too. And our loyalty is to go out and try to prove that when there's an A and a B, we gotta find out which one is best. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter 
and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.